morning guys and uh, hello again from sunny Florida winds blowing a little bit today and as you can see the pastures are beginning to brown up just a little bit uh, we've not had a frost uh, we've been in low 50s down here but it stopped the grass from growing some and a lot of this stuff you see dies back in the winter time anyway but uh, the grass has pretty much quit growing. Uh, we're not into our fall hardly at all, or even the uh, winter time. But <clears throat> it stopped growing. So, but as we get more warmer days, and we've, we've been in short pants here long after Christmas before. So it just kind of varies from year to year depending on what the weather pattern is. So anyway, but uh, grass is getting short and hopefully we'll have several more warm days still to come. Or the grass will grow. What what stops it is the evenings getting cooler, and the evenings start getting to the 50s and 60s. The grass pretty much quits growing, but we'll still see times where you know we'll be high 60s and possibly even low 70s still in the evening. So, it, like I said, it just varies. And uh, right here is a stake, and you guys have seen this before on a shooting range. But this stake is 200 yards out. This is where we shoot our long guns from. But that's not the purpose of the video this morning. The purpose of the video this morning is simply this right here. Pigs. They are rooting my darn pasture up now. And we're fixing to wage war. So I've got to the point I don't like to kill them. Um, simply because a lot of times the way we used to do it, we'd shoot them in the stomach and then that way they'd run off and die uh, and we wouldn't have to mess with them. Them old boar hogs are strong and really you need to cut them and put them in a pen and feed them out and you can beat it that way but um, we just aren't much on eating old boar hogs. So. But I have seen times I'd eat one quick. Just right now, hadn't quite got that bad. <laughs> so. These things have just started this. Uh, the pig population here in our area is just exploding. And uh, one of the guys that takes care of Mr. Dougal's Groves, uh, Robbie Ingram with Ingram Grove Service, his dad owns the place. He's been with them since their grandfather's time, I believe. But Robbie hunts and fishes a lot, and he's a great guy. He was telling me the other night he had something special on National Geographic, and it was stating that in the heavily infested areas, if you didn't control or trap or kill 80% of the pig population, you were losing ground. They could still gain ground of, on you if you weren't killing or getting rid of at least 80% of the population. So they just started in here and uh, they've worked some around the barn and I've been letting the little guys go. I know I showed a video quite a while back of the pigs coming up under the tree and getting that turkey feed I'd throw out and uh, we were going to trap them then, but then they kind of disappeared and uh, left us alone. And uh, now they've just, uh, you know, the weather's changing and they're getting back out in the pastures a little bit now. So we are actually in the process of building a pen, which will uh, work as a trap at the same time. And um, I'll take another video here in just a few minutes and show you, but this is what they do, guys. I mean, they just run a place quick. And there you can see what they've rooted up. And they just go around and just tear it up. I mean, it's almost like it's been dissed. And uh, so anyway, we can't have this. And I know it's part of the deal and the pigs have their right and blah, 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 blah. But my cows have got to eat and they just run a place. And here's another pretty good size area. But it's little pigs from what I've seen. I saw some the other night and they're maybe 50 pounds. So they're just right. So what we're going to do is go ahead and build the trap and uh, we're going to catch them. And then any little boar hogs we catch, we'll just cut them. We'll continue to feed them out too. And uh, we'll just uh, feed them out and then dress them out here before long. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. And I wanted to show you the sign. And again, there's four or five other places they've just started in good. So we're fixing to do something about it. But anyway, if you guys like to read some of our writings, go to www.ridingoutherecession.com. Or you can link to us through the Canada Free Press at www.canadafreepress.com. You guys have a great day, okay? Take care.